set operators. In school days, we came across a term called set functions. Here we are going to see these operators in SQL. Let's see the uses of set operators. Set operators are used to combine the results of two queries into a single result. Generally, set operators are of different types. Take a look at this image. Here you can find different set operators. Let's see the types. Union. This operator returns all distinct rows selected by either query. Union All. This will return all rows selected by either query, including all duplicates. Intersect. It returns all distinct rows selected by both queries. Minus. This operator returns all distinct rows selected by the first query, but not by the second. Generally, all set operators have an equal precedence, but we can change the order of execution using parentheses. Now we are going to discuss each operator in detail. Union. The union operator is used to combine the results of two or more tables. It removes the duplicate rows between the various select statements. Let's see the syntax. Here we will see how to use the union operator in a select statement. But before that, look at these tables. Here the test and retest tables contain the details about the students and their marks. Here both tables contain a same set of rows. From test union, select asterisk from retest and press enter to proceed. In this statement, we have used the function between the select statements to select all rows from the table's test and retest. As a result of this statement, it gives only distinct rows from both these tables. That is, it shows the rows only once. Let's see how union all operator works. Union all operator is like union operator, but it returns all rows, including duplicate rows, in the results. Each SQL statement within the union all query must have the same number of fields with similar data types. Here is the syntax. Now we will see the statement which uses the union all operator. Here in this statement we have used the union all operator with the same set of tables used in the last statement. Now the result of this statement displays all the rows from both these tables. We can find the differences between these two operators by comparing the sets of rows returned by both these statements. Let's see the remaining types of operators in the coming section. Now we are going to discuss the intersect operator. The intersect operator takes the results of two or more select queries and returns only the rows selected by all queries. That is, it will return the rows which are present in all select statements. For example, if a record exists in one query and not in another, it will be deleted from the result. Let's see the syntax. Have a look at this statement. Select no from test. Intersect select no from retest. Here we have used the same set of tables with the intersect operator, and we have selected the number column from both these tables. So this statement displays the numbers which exist in both these tables. Now we are going to discuss the minus operator. The minus operator takes two select statements and returns all rows from the first select statement, 